you download the SDK, you should first log into the customer portal at customerportal.solidworks.com, then click Downloads and Updates. Select the most recent version of SolidWorks, accept the end user license agreement, but don't just click download here. You want to do the manual download, which is down a little bit. So scroll down to that and then click continue. There's a long list of possible products to install for SolidWorks. It can be tricky to find it. After a while you can see it under step 5 or control F SDK and it will be listed there. Once you've downloaded it, you can just click to run it. The wizard for setting it up is pretty straightforward. You don't really have to configure anything. And then when it's done, you can go ahead and launch Visual Studio. Now when you create a new project, you can select your installed templates for Visual Basic or C Sharp, scroll down, and you will see SWVB add-in. You can name it now or name it later. When you create a new project using the add-in, you'll see there are a lot of assets already in the project. You can go ahead and open up SW add-in and evaluate or change the description and title at this point. A lot of it is provided for you. So I'll demonstrate what a blank SDK template creates. When I click debug, it launches SolidWorks. You might have to do a little bit of configuration with that. Once it has launched, you'll see that the menu has an extra item, VB add-in, and you can click Create Cube. It'll create a new part, assuming you have SolidWorks set up correctly. And if I click Show PMP, it shows a Property Manager page doesn't really do anything, it's just to give you some sample code about how to create those. Also, there's a toolbar added to the command manager. And if I look at the add-ins, I see my add-in listed there.